So welcome up to Hilltop Farm, my brothers and sisters. I am just here today and I'm giving you guys a farm update so you guys can stay tuned. So first thing I am starting with, I am starting with the birds. So they are super hungry now guys. As you guys can see this one is mortaring. His chain is changing his feather. So it, he is developing up to become a male, a man now. So as you guys can see, they are very hungry. You guys can see that one right there. So all of them is right there. They will pick on my finger because their feed is finished and I changed their water. So I need to go ahead and feed them now. So this is their feed. So Open the door. You guys can see. Go back in. Go back in. Okay. in the pan. Go back in. So right there, you guys can see. Two of them right there. Eating out of their pan. Most of them is right there, eating. And that's, that's one right there guys, that one is the wild one right there. He was right there on the pan. See, he's actually coming around. But he is very wild guys, but he is very hungry as well. So that's the reason why he's actually coming to look some food. Right there. So what I am going to do, I'm actually going to try and set this feed pan where they cannot turn it over guys. And I am going to leave from right there and give them some space to continue eat. This one guys, this one is not going up on the roof and the roofs up on the stick guys so he's actually sleeping at ground so they are actually now see him up so that's the reason why he is looking like that so I'm going to leave that right there and I'm going to go and go in the farm guys so stay tuned so welcome back now view my viewers I am actually here now you guys can see a lot of difference right there so I go actually go ahead guys and I take down the, all of the tomato plants what was over there. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take up the fruit that I that I pick off of the plant the, what was actually finished and leave on the plant. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take them up. So I am going to go ahead guys and I'm going to take them up and I'm going to place them in that bucket right there. And I'm going to harvest these peppers off of this plant right here because I harvest the peppers off of the bigger plants the other day guys like three two days ago and I never harvest these ones so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick off the all of these peppers off of these this plant right here and I'm going to pick off the ones that is actually ready to be picked off of that those plants right there as well so I'm going to take you guys right there these are the cabbages that is actually leave to be harvested as you guys can see they are looking very wonderful these ones actually harvest already guys and as you guys can see some smaller cabbages actually coming up inside of right there but I am not going to wait on those guys and you guys can see on it run by the, the lower part of the plant right there some is actually coming up right there as well and right there you guys can see this is a very wonderful cabbage right there very big and this one is another one right there these ones have harvest as well already and then over here this is another one right there as well and this is another one right there as well these ones are harvested already those, those are 
some bigger ones right there this one harvest already this one is still there and those smaller ones that one is still there and right there you guys can see right there that is 47 five gallon pot guys right there so you guys need to stay tuned for my next grow it is going to be very great so you guys can stay tuned 47 five gallon pot guys right here looking wonderful and these are the scotch bunny pepper the bell pepper plants guys that is actually bouncing back and started to bear as bear again and got on a lot of blossom on them and they're looking very wonderful as you guys can see right there they are getting very healthy guys and looking very wonderful uh, what I use to fertilize them guys I use some 2020 leaf fertilizer and I spray them guys so they're actually bouncing back this one right here guys have on a, a wonderful pepper right there you guys can see so they're actually doing great so I am just growing them guys until my seedlings grow up I will harvest the all of the peppers and I will take down the plants for my next grow so right here guys you guys can see my beautiful scotch bunny peppers right there right there so they are looking very wonderful guys and the the ones over there started to ripe a lot so I'm going to take you guys ahead show you right there so I soon can started to harvest and take out the seeds to actually for my for my storing process guys so right there they are looking so beautiful guys these peppers are very big and looking so wonderful over here right there you guys can see a lot of peppers ripening on that one looking very beautiful this one right here as well and this one right here as well guys started to ripe as well so they are looking so beautiful guys this one right here as well so that one right there looking beautiful How big is those pepper guys right there? And this plant as well. Looking wonderful guys and some some rain. They get rainwater yesterday. Guys, a lot of rainwater. So they are just flourishing and looking so beautiful. They are happy with the rainwater that they get yesterday. And right underneath there guys, you guys can see looking wonderful and right here you guys can see looking beautiful plants are very happy loving the rain water this is the last one that i'm going to show you looking very beautiful right there looking so beautiful guys i really love how these peppers are looking and you guys can see a lot of blossom and some smaller pepper is on the plant looking very wonderful so over here now guys I cut out the all of the tomato plant so I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to take up the all of the tomatoes that I pick off and I leave them right there so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take up the, all of them so you guys can stay tuned so this is all of what pepper I get to be to harvest guys from half of my older plants right there looking very wonderful and two to three days ago guys I picked the same amount or more off of the same plant so I, I harvest three cabbage as well right there and stay tuned guys so right underneath this this shade lot right here guys is my seeds in the trees that i started yesterday if you guys don't saw that video 
please go back and watch that video and you guys will see what and what kind of seeds are actually underneath the street cloth so i'm going to try and see if i could show you guys the right there so i am started my new seedlings for my new grow so you guys can stay tuned for that right there looking very good and tomorrow guys i will start it some more new seeds i am going to get some more cheese because my cheese that i did have run out i used all of them so i am going to get some more new trees tomorrow and i'm going to start it some more new seeds so stay tuned and thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it one love to you all until next time i'm out